The big um, the story yesterday was that the Premier of Victoria, Daniel Andrews, continued to uh, say that he was dealing with the shortage of horticulture workers. And as we've been reporting here, um, John McDonald in our Flow News 24 office in Canberra has uh, talked about the impasse over seasonal workers uh, to pick fruit, and um, that is now rotting on trees. The Victorian government announced its partial solution just yesterday. Now, this is after other states had sorted this months ago. $19.3 million for Victoria to be spent on the cost of bringing Pacific workers in and to enable the local workforce, whatever that means, when the fruit is rotting on the tree, to be picked. By its own admission, the Victorian government knows what it's proposing is not enough to assist right now, but having cooked the hot potato, they are trying to throw it at Canberra. We've run the headline on Flow News 24, Politicians Posture While Fruit Rots on Trees, and that's what's happening here. The Labor states are saying the federal government needs to step up and provide a scheme for more workers. And the Victorian Minister told Parliament yesterday, while the Pacific Islanders will help, they are not a silver bullet. We need a national approach. And I, along with my colleague ministers um, in Queensland, have written to the Federal Agricultural Minister to convene an Ag Minister's meeting to resolve this issue, to come up with new solutions to this national problem. The pandemic has exposed the over-reliance of this industry on international workers, uh, she states. Now, this smacks to me of a classic Labor misunderstanding of country people. The implicit statement there from the Minister is that they'd prefer to support Australian jobs in other circumstances Absolutely right. But ask any grower and they'll tell you Aussies won't do the picking work. You need workers from beyond our shores, be it backpackers from the Pacific Islanders or from other places. I mean, we've um, even got to the situation Indian workers are coming to Australia. And we've seen um, South African workers in the Mallee. It looks very much like Labor is politically posturing to look like it's backing Australian jobs rather than backing Australian farms, getting their produce off the paddock and onto the plate. And contrast this um, with the, the circumstances where Flow FM's Country Viewpoint program, Jace Regan hosted his show. He put Tony Passon, the member for Barker, in uh, the southeast of South Australia, which uh, is uh, in the electorate where I currently am visiting right now, through the Riverland and uh, the Mallee. He put this question about the support for Pacific Islander travel bubble for farm workers um, that was being promoted by Citrus SA. Here's what Tony Passon had to say. I'm in screaming agreement with um, Citrus SA and others have called for this solution. In fact, I'll lend my support to any measure that seeks to solve the problem that we face. So it is commendable that uh, Mr Passon's willing to be proactive for the citrus industry in his electorate and to put his support behind travel arrangements to enable more pickers and workers to come in. And that's uh, before the citrus um, has fallen from the trees. The Labor Party needs to recognise that some things can't wait for political posturing and putting ideology before farmers' income and futures. If you'd like to have a bit more of a read of John McDonald's article, it's at Flow News 24 and my take on it and our editorial view of what's happening with this really important issue. I'm in the Riverland right now and I can see the frustration and sense the problems that are happening around about us.